Nice water though, didn't it? persuade the authorities that what you hit was in fact a floating hulk, I think we might be able to lodge an appeal. Jeff, don't waste your time. It was an accident. You haven't been listening to a word I've been saying. Have you seen the M.O.? I'm all right. Just had a great deal of sleep, that's all. Well, let me get you transferred to sick bay. Oh, Uh, thanks, gentlemen. Uh, well, sir, I think I may be able to reverse the decision of the court. The vessel was, in fact, unregistered, and apparently there was no one on board. <laughs> That's hardly enough to warrant what he did. Well, then I shall submit again that he took evasive action. From what? From this sandbank, here. The navigating officer was on the bridge during the incident. He knew all the hazards. Uh, yes, sir, but as we know, the tides and waters here are notoriously tricky. So? Well, the commander has a boat of his own. Don't you, Commander? I'm listening. While he was sailing the boat on his own, he acquired more accurate knowledge than was currently available. Well, the sandbanks here are changing all the time. How big is she? Sir? I said, how big is she? Your sailing boat? Um, 23 feet, sir. 
How the devil are the sandbanks going to affect him? It sailed right over. Now, gentlemen, if that's your only argument, then reconvening the court will simply be a waste of everyone's time. If you're coming up with something, it'd better sound a damn sight better than that. Sir? Believe it or not, I came here to try and help. It's not very pleasant to see a colleague in this sort of mess. David, don't you understand? They're going to bury you. Hey, P. What? Did you know that we're getting near the Navy's restricted zone? To get to Braxton, we have to go round it. Round it? Well, look. Defence Department, Mine and Weapon Testing Area, Unauthorised Craft Forbidden. Look, we can't go around it. I mean, Parker's not just going to sit there, is he? We're going to have to go through it. Through it? That's right. Well, have you done it before? Always the first time, isn't it? What's all this in aid of, man? No reason why we shouldn't be a bit civilised. Smells all right. When did you get it? I nipped into my rainies on the way down to the boat. I couldn't get much, though. What is it? Yeah, I know it's a plate, Luce, but what is it? Cooking. Wait and see. Serves you right if you all starve to death. Take over, will you? You know, she thinks we're on some luxury cruise in the middle of the Caribbean. We should have... We should have gone back and ditched her, like I said. <sighs> Soup's ready, and Gamino Gretchen's is on the stove keeping warm. Help yourselves. Gamino what? Greta. Cheese and bacon. Well, why couldn't she say so in the first place? Any crackling? So which way were they heading? Up channel, sir. But you had a chopper. Why didn't you follow them? Light was going faster. The pilot wasn't too keen. So he just lost sight of it? Afraid so, yes, sir. Oh, the damn fool. The last thing we want is publicity. They'll be all right, sir. Hmm, I wish I shared your confidence. Oh, this is bad for Commander Wheeler, bad for the boy, and most important, bad for the Navy. Lord knows what sort of a mess he could land up in. I don't think so, sir. Oh? And why not, may I ask? Because I think I know which way they may be heading. We should be seeing the first marker by now. What marker? The Navy's Forbidden Zone. The Navy's Forbidden Zone? Yes. Sailing through it. But is it safe? What's that light on that boy? That's not just a light, it's a photoelectric cell. Like they have on lifts. But if you break the beam, it sets up an alarm. Come on. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna tilt her up if I can. No, you take the boat through and stand off and wait for me, will you? Do you reckon you can do it? <laughs> Have to see, won't we? Oh, careful, Pete. Bang! Pete, stop messing about. You know what you're doing? No. Well, when you get blown up, what's going to happen to us? Oh, I'll think of something. If they go to all this trouble to keep people out, what must it be like inside? Don't know. Now, if we'd gone round... No, Pete's right. It would have taken us ages to get to Braxton. And anyway, the tide would have been against us most of the way. Well, I hope it's all worth the trouble. So do I. And I hope Spencer's at home when we get there. Are you all right, Pete? Oh, yeah. It's funny you should say that. What? Well, I know Spencer lives in Braxted, but... But what? I don't know where. Oh, well, that's a lot of help. It's not a very big place, though. We don't even know that the message he sent your father has anything to do with the accident. You're the first person I've heard call it an accident. They all say it was negligence and incompetence.
tilted it. Now is watch out for the mines. Mines? Oh, don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? Oh, right then, worry about it. Come on, let's get some boat hooks. What's that? I don't know, but fend it off. Gently. Gently does it. Stay there. Hello? It's more to a wreck, boy. But out here in a restricted zone. You know, it's as though I've seen her somewhere before. I mean, no vessel should be moored here. I've never seen a slip shackle like that before. Hello, David. What are you doing here? I've got some rather bad news, I'm afraid. What's happened? It's about your son. Richard. He's run away. Run away? What the...? Why? We don't know. We can't go far, huh? I mean... Must be somewhere within the village. No. Well, where else? But he escaped by boat. Your boat. On his own? No, there were some others with him. Local kids. Some girl. Oh, and a boy who's a member of your own ship's company. Oh, really? Yes. Peter Larrabee, junior seaman. Oh, thank goodness. What do you mean? Well, that young Larry knows these waters around Bridmouth better than almost anybody else I know. They've probably gone for a sail. I don't think so. They were chased. By the Navy? Yeah. But not caught. <laughs> no. Probably scared half to death. From what I've seen of young Richard, he doesn't scare too easily. David... Where would they make for? I don't know. Look, I'm trying to help you. But they've probably gone fishing. No. Well, I can't tell you anymore. I don't know anymore. Listen, David. Richard could be in all sorts of trouble. And the other boy, Larrabee. I've since discovered that he was on the forecastle when you ran that vessel. Now, he should have been called as a witness. Then you'd better find him, wouldn't you? And my son. Well, they can't just have sailed off to nowhere. They must have had some specific destination in mind. The home of a relative. Or a friend. Is there anyone, David? I don't know. But you must have some idea. Why don't you help me? Your son's out there in the middle of the Bristol Channel, probably in all sorts of danger, and you won't cooperate. I just don't understand you. If Richard's with young Larrabee, 
He's all right. Look at that wheelhouse. Yeah, it don't look right. I thought it looked familiar. This boat is a dead ringer for the one year old man rammed. It's all them aerials. What? Yeah, but why is it moored here? Well, maybe it's hiding. Hey? You said yourself. Nobody comes into these parts. If it isn't Navy, they must be hiding in here. Yeah. Yeah. What better place? No one think of looking for it in here. Smugglers? Maybe. Come on, hurry up. I suppose we'd better get back to our crew. What's that? It's coming from in there. Yelling, Luce. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing at all. Then how did you... Later, Luce. Later. I wonder if you could help us. Yeah. We're looking for someone. Lives quite near here. In fact, he's a friend of my father's. Well, if he's a friend of your old man, best ask him, not me. Well, actually... Well, actually what? Well, actually, we want it to be a bit of a surprise. Oh? He's about the same age as you. Tallish. He walked through the stoop and his nose is We're sort We're looking of... for a man called Spencer. Oh, you mean you, Spencer? Yes, he's got the place top of Farthing Hill. Now, look. Straight up there. As far as you can, it's on the right. You can't miss it. Thanks. No. Honestly, it was left up to you two. We were only being polite. Yeah. That's not the point. Well, I say it is. Well, I hope he's in. We don't know him. Mr. Spencer! I suppose he's asleep. The door's open. This is the thing he used to send the message on. It's pretty powerful for us if he said. Sorry, but that's what it is. Right, Lucy? What? For a start, why don't you fix us up some coffee? And while you're doing that, we'll all of us try and figure this mess out. 
Oh, Richard, don't just stand there. Look through that, will you? See if you can come up with anything. Well, I think we ought to call the police. But we might end up by doing that. But still... We haven't got much time. Whoever did that hasn't been away all that long, has he? The more we do on our own right now, the better. So make the coffee, will you? Who would want Spencer for a start? Well, Spencer was the one who started everything off, wasn't he? I mean, he was the one who sent the message to your dad and that thing, wasn't he? And then your dad goes mad and rams some boat or other. Except it's not an ordinary boat. It's got some fancy aerials on it. Just like that little number we on last night. And is there an inquiry? No. A court-martial. And what does your dad say? Nothing. And what does the brass say? Guilty. No mention of Spence code. When we get to Spence's, we find that and blood on the wall. What date did he ram her? What's the date got to do with it? What date? 20th. Why? Because that's the basis of the code. The Navy list. We look up the date, the 20th of August. August is the eighth month, 208. So we look up 208. There we are. Hey, how about that? Any luck? Take a pencil and write down what I say. B, A, A, N, D. Band. It's sack. It's to what? Tivat. Tivat. Ingdu. Look, it's no such word. S A V E B. Acon. Acon. That still doesn't make sense. Well, we've got to cut it up, haven't we? Bandit. Bandits. Activating. Doombolt. 4 a.m. Imperative. Destructs. Destruct. Persona. Save. Bacon. Do you reckon that makes sense, do you? Well, it's words, isn't it? Imperative destructs Sona. Well, your dad did destroy something, I suppose. What's Dumbolt? Yeah, and Safe Bacon? Well, it could be another book. Francis Bacon? He's as mad as his old man. Who's Bacon? He wrote Shakespeare, didn't he? Did he? I thought Shakespeare wrote Shakespeare. Look, are you sure this is right? Bacon. Well, maybe there's another book. No use asking me, mate. I never heard of Bacon or whatever he calls himself. What are you looking in the fridge for, Luce? There's always the stuff that goes with eggs, you know. What are you on about now? Bacon. And this was right round it. Hey. It looks like some sort of map overlay. Well, the maps are over there. Oh, very nice. Having a party, are we? Or is it a summit conference? <laughs>